Hey, what's up everybody? It's William. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who do not know me, I am an autistic male with a background in special education and I coach people on how to better understand and work with individuals on the autism spectrum. In this video, we're going to be following an ABA therapy approach towards teaching simple communication skills that autistic individuals can use in everyday situations. I know that many parents of children with autism want to provide their children with the best possible care and therapy but may be unable to afford expensive ABA therapy or may be skeptical of enrolling their children in ABA therapy due to the negative reviews that ABA has caused harm. I also know that there are parents on a budget and may not be able to afford expensive therapy or materials to teach their children. That's why I created this video with the goal of providing access or ABA therapy that requires no materials. My hope is that by sharing my expertise in working with individuals with autism, I can help parents and caregivers teach valuable communication skills to their loved ones without breaking the bank. So in this video, we will be focusing on teaching simple communication skills to individuals with autism that can be used in everyday situations. Whether you're a parent, caregiver, or individual with autism yourself, I believe that this video can provide valuable insights and techniques that can be used to improve communication abilities. So without further ado, let's get started. In this first step, we will be focusing on teaching your child how to request items or activities using either words or gestures. Let's start by practicing a simple request. I'm going to show you your favorite snack. And when you want more, I want you to say or sign more. Ready? Here's your favorite snack. Yum! Now when you want more, say or sign more. Great job! You're already on your way to mastering this skill. It's important for your child to be able to request items or activities that they want or need as this helps them communicate their needs and desires more effectively. Let's try another request. This time, I'm going to show you your favorite toy. And when you want to play with it, I want you to say or sign play. Ready? Here's your favorite toy. Now when you want to play with it, say or sign play. Excellent work! You're doing fantastic so far. If your child is struggling to say or sign a request, try breaking it down into smaller parts by providing them visual aids to help them understand. Remember to praise and reinforce correct responses and be patient and positive in your approach to teaching communication skills through ABA therapy. For this next step, we will be focusing on teaching your child how to make simple comments about their environment. Being able to make comments is an important communication skill that can help your child initiate conversations and engage with others. Let's start by practicing a few comments. I'm going to show you an object or something in the environment and I want you to make a comment about it. You ready? Here's a book. What would you like to say about the book? Great job! That was an excellent comment. Let's try another one. Here's a coffee cup. What would you like to say about the coffee cup? Fantastic! You're doing great so far. It's important to encourage your child to make observations around their environment and to share those observations with others. This helps them engage more fully in the world around them. Let's try one more comment. Here's a picture of a dog. What would you like to say about the dog? Wonderful! You're really getting the hang of it. If your child is struggling to make a comment, Try prompting them by asking questions or providing visual aids to help them focus on specific aspects of the object or environment. Remember to praise and reinforce correct responses and be patient and positive in your approach to teaching communication skills through ABA therapy. In this next step, 
we will be focusing on teaching your child how to answer simple questions using yes or no responses. First, let's start by practicing a few questions. I'll ask you a question and you can answer with either yes or no. Ready? Here's the first question. Do you like pizza? Great! Now let's try another question. Is it raining outside? Excellent job! You're doing great so far. Now let's try some more questions together. Remember to answer with either yes or no. So here's the first question. Do you like ice cream? That's right, the answer is either yes or no. Let's try another question. Are you wearing socks? Fantastic, you got it. As you can see, answering simple questions using yes or no responses can be easy and fun. If your child is struggling to answer a question, try breaking it down into smaller parts or providing visual aids to help them understand the question. And remember to praise and reinforce correct responses and be patient and positive in your approach to teaching communication skills through ABA therapy. In our final step, we will be focusing on teaching your child some basic conversation skills including taking turns in a conversation by asking and answering simple questions. Let's start by practicing with a few questions. I'll ask you a question and you can answer it. Then I'll ask you another question and this time I want you to ask me a question in return. Ready? Here's your first question. What's your favorite color? Great! Now it's my turn to answer a question. My favorite color is green. Now it's your turn to go ahead and ask me a question. Go ahead, ask me anything you'd like to know. Excellent, you're doing great so far. It's important to take turns in a conversation so that both people have a chance to ask and answer questions. Let's try a few more questions and remember to take turns. Here's the next question. What's your favorite food? Mmm, sounds delicious. Now it's my turn to ask you a question. Do you have any pets at home? Fantastic job! You're really getting the hang of it. As you can see, taking turns in a conversation and asking and answering simple questions can be fun and easy. If your child is struggling, try providing visual aids or breaking the questions down into smaller parts. Remember to praise and reinforce correct responses and be patient and positive in your approach to teaching conversation skills through ABA therapy. Keep practicing and your child will continue to improve their communication skills. Congratulations on completing our at-home ABA therapy session for teaching communication skills to children with autism. We've covered a lot of ground, including how to use visual aids, how to practice answering simple questions, and how to take turns in a conversation by asking and answering simple questions. Remember that every child is unique and may respond differently to different methods. It's important to be patient, positive, and flexible in your approach to ABA therapy for communication skills. With practice and consistency, your child will continue to improve their communication skills and build their confidence. Keep up the great work and don't hesitate to reach out to a certified ABA therapist or other healthcare professional for additional support. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the best on your journey to helping your child reach their full potential.